This is me trying to plant a million seeds using some trousers that might look kind of familiar. These are the right trousers, invented by 11-year-old Poppy May, and they're inspired by these. It's the wrong trousers, Gromit. These are the automated techno trousers from Wallace and Gromit, the wrong trousers, created by Artman Animation. And we've teamed up with them and the Intellectual Property Office to recreate these iconic trousers with a twist. I'm Ruth, a patent holding inventor and maker. And I'm Sean, a designer and engineer. And we believe that kids have the best invention ideas. So join us on our mission to build kids' ideas, make mistakes, and show that anyone can be an inventor. Kids invent stuff. This is Poppy May's invention idea. The Plantinator. She's taken the wrong trousers and turned them from something an evil penguin hacked to commit crimes in Wallace and Gromit into sustainable seed planting trousers. They have a water dispenser, seed dispensers, and most importantly, are made from reclaimed materials. So to make Poppy May's invention, there are a number of problems we need to solve. When it comes to planting seeds, the first thing you need to do is make a hole. So our first challenge is making a hole. How are we going to make a hole? To the garden! So the obvious way to make a hole is with a digging implement, like this. But this is maybe a little bit too big to be attached to some trousers. So I found this in the local charity shop. Started digging some holes and I realised that it's going to take a long time. Even digging with my hands, and these are going to be attached to trousers, takes a long time to dig a hole and plant seeds and we want to plant lots of seeds so it's back to the drawing board because we need something that does lots of holes at the same time. Ironically my neighbours have started to mow their lawn uh, which leads us on to another lawn device so we asked gardeners what can we use to make lots of little holes at once and Sean's dad who is an avid gardener suggested these he actually lent us them they're like uh, lawn aerating shoes we're not going to get them back yeah we're keeping these these are now ours sorry um but yeah so essentially you wear them on your feet and you you walk around your lawn and you aerate them i'm going to put the other ones on so i can be double aerating making twice as many holes oh, it's very satisfying we scoured the internet to find the perfect secondhand shoes for poppy Bay's invention and we found these beauties, which are pretty close to her drawing. Making a hole. Done. Next problem, seed attack. So ways of dispensing seeds. On Poppy May's drawing, the seeds are on the sort of shoe part of the trousers. So one way we could dispense them would be a sort of manual pouring thing, but that isn't really gonna dispense enough seeds for our liking. Other options include some kind of shaker device. So you've got a big thing of seeds and you sort of shake them and pour them. And you know, when the seeds are really fine, that works, but we might wanna do some bigger seeds. So we were thinking, powered seed dispenser. We've got a couple of options for that. This is an old auger, so it's like a screw auger that we could attach a motor to and that would spin and we could feed the seeds in and they would come out at the end, a little bit like the mechanism we used when we made our giant mouse robot that pooped cat treats. Um, so that is an option that we might test out. And then the other option that we can test is one of these. So this is like a fan blower and this was left over from when we built face masks that generate electricity. And basically the idea for this is we have some kind of hopper and we feed the seeds from the hopper into here. And then when we press a button, the fan will switch on, blowing the seeds out the bottom of the shoes and we can have one on each shoe. So we want to compare that to the auger and see which one works best. Dispensing seeds, option one. Okay, I mean, it's working reasonably well. It's quite a large thing as well to mount on the back of a leg. Option two. Now we're going to try and see how well it compares to the fan blower pipe option. Ah! Oh, ah. I really like that. It's definitely more, more dispersal. Let's try. It's just not all in one. Oh, oh yeah. That's delightful. Yeah. Look at that. That's good. Ah. So this one did like heaps, like they're very intense piles. And then this one, like, you can actually walk around and dispense the seeds through the lawn. Ah, seeds! That works lovely. So this one sort of works the best for spreading seeds, but it's also the most compact for going on the back of a leg. When I say compact, I mean there's nothing compact about this. It's really subtle. But it's more compact than the other one. Um, so, yeah, that is a solid option. Done! 
we can make a hole, we can dispense a seed, and now it's all about watering that seed. So the next problem we need to solve to make Poppy May's invention idea is watering the seed. Z. <laughs> So we want to be able to water the seeds and we want to be able to do that automatically. So we want to be able to switch it on and off. And so to do that, we're going to use a pump. Now, what that will do is that we'll take the water and hopefully pump it out some nozzles. It's all kind of wired together. There's a battery to power it. We've got a bowl of water, obviously in Poppy May's invention idea, there'll be some sort of water holder. And then at the flick of a button, hey, water. That's pretty impressive! That's a lot of water! So these nozzles are probably going to end up going somewhere near the back of the legs so that you can make the hole, dispense the seed, and then water them. So for our water dispensing, we were initially going to use this. We kind of plumbed the pipe ready to use this, and this holds about 500 millilitres, and it was left over from when we made our bubble firing guitar. But then we realised that the amount of water that's going to fire is going to drain this very, very quickly. So we have an upgrade. I remembered I've got one of these old water bladders. This holds three litres of water. So the plan is to use this instead. And because it's nice and flexible, squeeze this into the trousers um, so we can dispense even more water before we run out. So the wrong trousers have a very iconic waistband and we want to replicate that with Poppy May's invention. So. We've got this. It's a slightly battered barbecue, uh, but it's fine because we're going to cut it up some more. We're going to weld it back together and we're going to make the waistline on Poppy May's invention look like the wrong trousers, but it'll be right. The right wrong trousers. Weld! What's going on here? It's a barbecue. <laughs> Why are you wearing a barbecue, Ruth? the weirdest cosplay ever. It's like a barbecue nappy. I've never seen anyone wear a barbecue. Please comment below. If you see someone wear a barbecue, let us know. Um, this could be a world first. Probably not, knowing the internet. Something exciting has just arrived, but before we show you, we need to kind of explain something to make it make sense. So the Intellectual Property Office, who run Cracking Ideas, this year the theme was all about sustainability and the environment. So we have tried with this project to use as much reused, uh, recycled or secondhand stuff as possible, and probably about 90% of all the stuff we've used to bring to life Poppy May's invention falls into that category. And it's one of the reasons that we love Poppy May's invention idea. It genuinely could make a difference out there. And so we thought with our test, we wanted to challenge ourselves to do something that could also not only be a challenge to us, but challenge the invention. So lots of people at the moment are talking about the importance of planting trees, but there's another thing that's really important that we need more of for biodiversity, and that is wildfly meadows or wildflowers. So we have <laughs> set ourselves a challenge of using Poppy May's invention to plant one million seeds. And to do that, we've worked out just how many a million seeds is. And this is it. It's a lot. It's a lot. Um, and so we've put together a mix of native grasses and wildflower seeds. It looks a bit like this. Here we go. This is it. So there's wildflowers in there and there's grasses in there. So we can go to some places that have got very barren, sad looking soil and uh, we can plant some of these, which will be amazing for the bees and the insects and for nature. Absolutely. So intellectual property is really important when it comes to inventing. It's like a shield that protects your idea. It says to people, this is my idea and you can't use it without asking me first. Is there anything in particular you'd like to know about intellectual property? So a patent is like a certificate for you and your invention. It says to people, you came up with this brilliant new idea and it's all yours. Now to do that, it needs to be something that is different or new and we call that an inventive step. So is there anything different about the way your potato hat glows in the dark or the way that your potatoes are fastened together? 
Okay, so it might be that design registration might be a better way to protect your hat invention idea. A design registration protects the way that something looks, its shape or its pattern. I'm wearing the trousers, time to switch them on and fire some seeds. So we've put out some seed, it's time to water them and the nozzle placement of these trousers are interesting. So there might be a slight design flaw on our part that the nozzles potentially, depending on how Ruth walks, could put water into the seed dispensers. So we to be slightly careful. Or, oh. or oh, I'm not worried about you. I'm just worried about the, the oh. filling the seed things up with water. We want to get the water on the seeds when they're on the ground, not in the seed dispensers. <laughs> Let's just take a moment to appreciate how funny this is. Oh, yes. I'm not going to lie. This is entirely hilarious to watch Ruth walk in. One of the funniest things about this is the squeaking sound that Ruth's thighs make when walking. It's like, there's like a tap tap crunch squeak. <laughs> I've spotted somewhere in need of seeds. Excellent seed leg cocking. Just um, watching Ruth try and go off road with the, uh, the seed dispensing trousers. Ooh. Oh, excellent. So you can see where Ruth's been, look, check this out. Little footprints, little signature that Ruth's been on a journey. Remarkably, we're already 500,000 seeds down. I've actually lost Ruth. She's <laughs> got very much getting into the seed. Oh, there's Ruth. Hello. Hi, I'm just dispensing seeds. Oh, look, you found another bit of barren bare ground. has rained quite a lot here and I got really excited because essentially I'm wearing giant wellies but with the spikes they don't splash on the plus side we haven't had to do loads of watering today no. because uh which is good because <laughs> we are limited by the amount of water that it can carry let us know what you think how did we do bringing to life Poppy May's invention mark out of 10 and let us know if you've got any ideas for ways that we could upgrade them or make them better but um, to all intents and purposes, they do what we set out to do. They do what Poppy May asked us to do, which was to plant seeds and water the seeds. They plant seeds so well. <laughs> Arguably, so well. potentially too well. Literally, we, we, we thought we were being ambitious with the million seeds. We have planted them in just a few hours. We have smashed through a million yeah. seeds. Yeah, <laughs> so yeah, we, everyone should be wearing plantinator trousers. Thank you, Poppy May. If you don't already, follow us at Kids Invent Stuff on social media, and we will let you know in the spring when the seeds start to grow. See you next time. Bye. Bye.